You are great. Sing it with me. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Sing it with me, church. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You deserve the glory and you deserve glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name because you deserve glory and the honor as we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great come on come on for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else it's here the book we've been waiting for seven ways the holy spirit speaks to us a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order 7 Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. So this morning, just for a few minutes, I really felt led by the Holy Ghost to take my time and talk to you a little bit about supernatural success secrets, because there isn't a person on the face of this earth that does not want to be successful in whatever endeavor it is that they put their hands on. Now, for us who are saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost, God have given us the written word of God. And what I'm reading to you this morning, it's going to really reveal to you how to be successful in whatever endeavor it is that you put your hands on. But the first and foremost thing is you got to be saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost and surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ because you can't make it without Jesus. You know, Jesus said, apart from me, you can do absolutely nothing. And you know, on this precious morning, I just felt the Holy Ghost really ask me to just pull it back a little bit and to just take my time and teach for a few minutes the word of God to help you be prosperous and successful in every area of your life, whether it's business, whether it's marriage, whether it's on your job, whether it's in college, it doesn't matter. The word of God applies to every aspect of your life. Now, without any further hesitation, let's dive into the word of God. Psalms chapter one, I'm going to read verse one, two, and three. I want you to listen closely to the word of God. The Bible says, blessed is the man that walks not 
in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Now, the Bible says, blesses the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Ungodly counsel is taking advice from people who are not saved and full of the Holy Ghost, people that will give you immoral advice that goes against the word of God, that goes against the Christian conviction, that goes against what Jesus Christ died for on Calvary Cross, the Son of God. I want you to hear me, and I'm, I'm crystal clear about this. I have no trouble with not trying to be politically correct. Because that's why a lot of people are in trouble right now. I'm not trying to be politically correct. I'm a preacher of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I make no apologies for standing on the word of God. Now watch this. So he said, blesses the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. The scornful are prideful, haughty people who think they are better than everybody on the planet. Run far away from those people because the Bible says pride comes before fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. Amen. The Bible says blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Now watch this. Let me move forward because I want to get to my main point here. In verse 2 he says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. That's the written word of God. And in God's law does he do what? Meditate day and night. That means to consume the word of God. And as you read the word of God, to take your time, that's being led by the Holy Ghost, of course. We're not talking about foolishness out there and the new age stuff, transcendental meditation, all this nonsense that's out there. And no, listen, we, we're not talking about nothing new age. We're talking about what the Holy Ghost have set apart for you as a child of God, a Christian that's been washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've already surrendered your life to Christ. God is talking to you from his word. He said, but you, your delight is in the word of God. And in his word, do you meditate day and night? That word meditate actually means to think about the written word of God, to take your time and ponder on scripture. I want you to hear me good. Meditate means to mutter. It means to think about a particular scripture that the Holy Ghost have impressed on your heart. This has nothing to do with you trying to conjure something up on your own. The Bible says those that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9 and 10, the Bible says, eyes have not seen nor ear heard, neither have it, have it entered into the heart of man to things which God has prepared for those who love him, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. So as you meditate on the word of God, as you think about the word of God, as you ponder on the scriptures, the Holy Spirit will begin to give you revelation. The Holy Ghost will begin to illuminate your mind. Simply means that God will cause you to understand his wisdom from the scripture on any given situation on how you need to apply yourself, what decision you need to make, whether you need to, to go left or right, whether you need to take this job or reject it, whether you need to accept this contract or turn your back on it. I'm, I'm talking straight talk this morning. So he said, but his delight is in, in the word of God and in his word does he meditate day and night. Listen to what's going to happen. The Bible says in Psalms 1, 3, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Planting has the idea of being stable. Listen, if you are unstable, it's because you are not meditating in the word of God. If your life is a life that's lived without direction, you are just on the spur of the moment type person, you need to pull it back and sit and wait on God. Because as you wait in the presence of God and meditate on the scriptures and study the word of God, the Holy Ghost will illuminate the word of God. The Holy Ghost will cause you to understand what God wants you to understand on the everyday decisions you have to make. And these are the things that lead to success because the Bible says, he should, the man who meditates, verse 3 of Psalms 1, he shall be like a tree 
planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in his season. Listen good. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he does will prosper. And if you look at people in the kingdom of God who are prospering, it just seems like everything they put their hands on, it turned to gold. It's not because they are lucky. It's not because, because they are God favors them more than you. It's simple because that person is taking time out with God. They're spending time alone with God. They're spending time meditating and, and meditating in the word of God and the Holy Ghost is bringing direction to their life. Remember Martha and Mary. Uh, the Bible says, Martha, look at Jesus. And he said, Master, aren't you going to tell Mary she need to come and help me uh, carry on the duties of the house? And Martha was upset because Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet and listening to his word. Jesus said, Martha, Martha, you are cumbered about with much stuff and being distracted. But Mary have chosen that good part which will never be taken away from her. And what was that? Sitting at his feet and listening to his word. Let me read something to you from Proverbs chapter 6. I'm coming back into what I'm talking about, but let me go into Proverbs Chapter 6, I want to read verse 22 and 23 for the person that meditates on the Word of God. Listen to what the Word of God says in Proverbs 6, 22. When you go, it will lead you, the Word of God, the Holy Ghost will use the Word of God to lead you. When you sleep, it will keep you. When you awake, it will talk to you. Have you ever been driving your car and all of a sudden, wham, seems like the light comes on and all of a sudden a scripture that you hadn't heard or even talked about in a few years, all of a sudden the scripture takes on meaning and it's the scripture you need It's and it comes at the right time. Have you ever listened to one of our broadcasts or another man of God or another woman of God broadcast and they are all of a sudden they're sharing the word of God and it's exactly what you need on the spur of the moment. That's because the Holy Spirit is illuminating your mind. He's bringing direction into your life. He's bringing clarity into your life. And this is why some people get frustrated and say, oh, God's not answering their prayer. No, 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 no. God wants to answer everyone's prayer. Hello, somebody. That Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. But the problem is people are so busy about with their everyday life, they do not want to take time out with God. And as a result, they are making bad decisions and they have to live with the consequences. And they want you to pray them out of these situations where they have disobeyed the written word of God. They did not wait on God. They got themselves in a mess. And now they expect you to come and pray them out of their mess in, in a few minutes. It don't work that way. You go off to, to get out of that mess you are in. You go off to get alone with God, meditate on the word of God, listen to anointed preachers, listen to anointed worship music, and spend time alone with God and tell the Holy Ghost, use the word of God to bring direction into your life. The Bible says, he said, let me go back to Psalms 1. The, well, no, sorry about that. Let me finish Proverbs 6.22. It says, when you go, it will lead you. When you sleep, it will keep you. And when you awake, the word of God will talk to you. Why? Verse 23, for the commandment is a lamp, the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. That's why David said in Psalms 119 verse 105, thy word, O Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my pathway. I, I want you to hear me. So David was a man who spent time meditating in the word of God. David was not successful by coincidence. David's given you the secret. David said, on God does he wait all the day long. David said, Lord, I meditate on your precepts. That's meditating on the word of God. And as a result of David meditating on the word of God, God brought clarity and direction into David's life. The Holy Ghost used the word of God to just bring direction. Listen, that's what Jesus meant when he said in John chapter 16 verse 13 Jesus said when the Holy Spirit of truth has come this belongs to every child of God Jesus said the Holy Ghost will guide you into all truth for he will not speak of himself but whatsoever he hears that will he speak and he will show you things to come and Jesus said the Holy Ghost will guide you into all truth well Jesus clarified what truth is in the book of John chapter 17 Jesus said oh Lord thy word is truth so Jesus said the Holy Spirit will use the written word of God as a road map in your life to lead you to guide you and to direct you and listen John 
John 14, 26, Jesus said, when the comforter, the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, when he comes, Jesus said, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have spoken to you. That's back to the word of God. That's why when the enemy came against Jesus, Jesus rebuked the devil. And what did Jesus say? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by Every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Listen to Psalm chapter 33 verse 4. For the word of the Lord is right. My God, my God. Now listen, about this meditation, let me just wrap this up here by going to Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. I want you to see this because we're talking about supernatural success secrets. So one of the one of the things that led to great success in David's life was he was a man that meditated on the word of God. You look at some of the greatest men in the Bible that had the greatest success. They were men of God who knew how to meditate on God's laws, meditate on God's written word. Watch Joshua. Listen to what God said to Joshua in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This is the same Joshua who conquered Jericho. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. My God, the Jordan river dried up for Joshua those to walk over on dry land. I'm telling you, listen to this. Here's Joshua's secret. This is what God said to him in Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein. How much? Day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success. So listen, so God was telling Joshua, as you meditate on the word of God, Josh, I'm going to reveal to you, the Holy Ghost is going to reveal strategies to you from the word of God that shows you the steps that you need to take. It was when Joshua was meditating. He was looking at the walls of Jericho and meditating, wondering how on earth can he knock these walls down because he know he didn't have the manpower, nor did he have the artillery, nor the weapon, nor the machinery to knock the walls down. And whilst he was waiting before God, the angel of God, which was Christ, Christ Jesus appeared to Joshua, the captain of the host of God, that's Christ himself. And he said to Joshua, Joshua, March around the walls of Jericho once for seven days, once every day. And on day seven, march around seven times. And when you shout, the wall is going to fall flat. That makes no sense. But that's what happened when we meditate on the word of God. What, what, what would make David go up against an armed, seasoned soldier who is a giant and all he have in his hand is a slingshot and a stone? That's a man who meditates on the word of God. The Holy Ghost reveals secrets to you from the word. And when you apply yourself to what the Holy Spirit is teaching you as a blood-bought, blood-washed child of God, you will experience success. Notice what the Bible says at the end of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. When you meditate on the word day and night, it said that you may observe to do. You will never know how to apply the word of God to your life if you don't spend time meditating. That's why some people's marriage are not successful I'm talking about Christians. Why? They spend no time with God, no time in God's word. Listen, you can pray for wisdom until you are blue in the face. If you want God's wisdom, getting God's wisdom is very simple. Study to show yourself, approve unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Some people want to know how to get out of debt. Your answer is in the word of God. Some people want to know, what do I need to do for my business to succeed? Your answer is in the word of God. Some people need to know, how can I get a raise on my job? What do I need to do to get promoted? Your answer is in the written word of God. And some people want to want shortcuts to success. There's no shortcut. You are going to have to pay the price and get alone with God are you listening to me? Until the Holy Spirit shows you from God's word how to apply yourself, how to apply the word of God to a given situation in your life. And the Bible says in Joshua 1 8, when you do it, you will make your way prosperous. Not nobody else. You will make your way prosperous. Not only will you make your way prosperous, but you will have good success. Listen. I want to give you an opportunity on this morning to sow a seed into the kingdom of God, into the work of God, into the preaching of the gospel. To do so, you can visit us online right now. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. 
You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pitner Ministries. Paypal.me forward slash Sean Pitner Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zelle account. Our ministry Zelle account email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. That address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 2726 McKinney, Texas 75070. Never forget, we appreciate everything you are doing to support us and stand with us and help this ministry preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and demonstrate the power of God. We love you. That's for me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy. We don't take you for granted at all. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if this ministry has been a blessing to you. You'll like what we are preaching. Click the subscribe button and click on that gray bell. Turn on the notifications. We love you. God bless you now. Take care. See you again on tomorrow. Bye-bye.